As our division director likes to say, people with disabilities want real jobs, real relationships, real lives. Nothing more, nothing less. Bernie is right. Okay. And that's what our Partnership for Hope is all about. Partnership for Hope is a trailblazing collaboration that uses county, state, and federal Medicaid dollars to help people with developmental disabilities in Missouri live meaningful, healthy lives. The Partnership for Hope Medicaid waiver is designed for children and adults who are at risk of crisis without some support. With the support the waiver provides, people with developmental disabilities can continue living and working in the community. I think one of the tremendous benefits of the Partnership for Hope is in its name. It requires local government and state government to work together with communities and families. And when they do, it's provided a new measure of hope that wasn't there before. Through the Partnership for Hope waiver, participating counties contribute funds which they leverage to receive additional state and federal dollars. We've kind of moved from a system that always said no to a system that says, yes, we can do that for you. Their service coordinator, support coordinator, goes out and meets with them and says, you know, we've had you on the waiting list for some physical therapy for five years. Well, we can do that now. People with developmental disabilities are getting off of waiting lists for services faster than ever before. Counties select recipients who use the Partnership for Hope waiver to get the help they need to live fuller, more independent lives at a fraction of the cost to taxpayers. All of the people who participate in the Partnership for Hope and the other waivers are viewed as being at risk of institutionalization, that they may not be able to continue to live with their brothers and sisters and their moms and dads, but they may be, through a lack of community-based services, be forced to move to nursing homes or institutions. He has a lady that comes out about twice a week. Her name is Gail and they go do volunteer things around the city. Okay. They go to one good meal, you know, and they deliver food to people who are disabled or elderly, yeah. and it's neat that he's helping out the it community who has helped him. I think the most important uh, issue uh, is that uh, we capped it at $12,000, and the, the average cost right now was only $8,500. So people are not bouncing up against the cap, which is what everybody anticipated. $12,000 doesn't sound like a lot when people who are in residential services could be over $100,000. Because the average annual cost per person is below the $12,000 cap, counties are able to enroll more people in the Partnership for Hope. It has been so successful that counties all over Missouri and states across the nation are asking about it. This has helped him get out there and, and uh, make him feel important that he's doing something that matters, because it doesn't matter. That's true, it did matter. Let me tell you about a mom who was taking care of a son who had muscular dystrophy. And when the son was 10 or 11, he was small and she could lift him and carry him into the house. And then later, as he reached puberty, he got bigger and she couldn't do that anymore. But she continued to try because she wasn't getting any help because it was a crisis only situation. And then she hurt her back herniated her disc and got depressed, wound up in a psychiatric institution, and her husband left her and her son was placed into a $100,000 a year out of home placement. This all could have been prevented through Partnership for Hope services. The Partnership for Hope is an example of an innovative policy that helps more people through organizational cooperation. I think the most important lesson we can learn from this program is not to be afraid to look and try something different. The right type of services at the right time and help them lead more normal lives. And it's wonderful. It's really, it's been a God's blessing. We really appreciate that he gets that.